Let's just look on the statue's head. Peach. So, whatever's happening here. Oh my god! Why is she so helpless? She could have gone running or something like that. A kidnapping? Yeah, I know! That princess gets kidnapped all the time, dude. Okay, you just have to go spraying this guy. Just have to spray it. And here it is. Oh wow, wow, not fair, completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. What are you talking about? So he's headed for the square. Did he stop? I didn't think so. So I'm just coming here. Where is he? Oh. Dude. Ha! Huh. I got here first. I got here first. Hey, I got here first. That is not fair. Okay, let's just spray this thing. You have to spray the graffiti and then jump into it. And this takes us to our first level in the first... Oh, well, these things are called episodes. I'm just going to call them missions or, or shines. So it's the first shine. The road to the big windmill, the episode one. Yep, this is Bianco Hills, people. You have to chase Shadow Mario up to that point. That's his official name, Shadow Mario. Like that, in that form, it's Shadow Mario. Of course, a lot of you guys know what it is, but please don't spoil it in a bit in the comments because a lot of people don't don't actually play this game, so they don't know. So this is the way you have to take. It's pretty standard way right here. Those, of course, you saw some poles, some cable jumping. It's pretty easy. The game is not hard. To, it's not hard to maneuver in this game. It's not really, really easy to, to play a fair game. So we get more recycled bosses. That's the only thing I should be complaining about in this game. Uh, they do re uh, reuse a lot of their bosses. I mean, there could have been more original bosses. Uh, that could go down with water but at the same time it's hard to come up with some kind of monster which its weak point is water you know and apparently the goop is terraforming and I'm just quoting Chucky Conroy right here because it gave us land and gave us a shine so let's jump into it and excuse me oh jeez glitch again Oh, I actually changed to Hover Nozzle, I didn't notice. Shine number two. Okay, so maybe you've been noticing those blue coins at the right side, at the left side, just below the shines. So there's 30 coins in it, 30 blue coins in each of the levels. So, um, the blue coins have another purpose, but it, they're not for this part of the game. Just not now. They do have a purpose though. Apart from currency, you know? So episode 2, I mean shine number 2, down with Pity Piranha. Of course, I'm going to be progressing really fast through these ones because they're easy, they're short, and they're like, not hard to get to at all, so... Yeah, I'm going to be progressing a lot through this. I mean, we've been like... Oh jeez, actually it's like 17 minutes into the, into the recording. No. Uh, I'm doing sessions once more. I'm not episodes, not episode by episode. I'm doing sessions again, so that's why it's like 17, 17 minutes into the video. Oh, this new enemy. These are like normal piranha plants, but uh, their weak point is water. So the only the only thing you want to do is just spray them with water until they're, you know, cool. And then there, there you go. Of course, you can use the hover nozzle here. Uh, you have to use it there, but. You know, it's kind of advisable because I fell there the first three times I played through this game, so. Yeah, this is actually my, like, tenth playthrough of this game. I just love this game. I love it, I love it. I think this was my second or third GameCube game. So, no, it actually was my third, third GameCube game. The first one was Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion, and the second one was Pikmin. 
I love the Nintendo GameCube, man. Oh gee. Okay, so that thing is just throwing stuff at us. Now you can go through water spouts and stuff like that to uh to automatically refill flood. That is a advisable thing here because you can run out of water actually. Now they're hoping you to go all around. I don't know why, but they just do. Oh, something I forgot to mention last um uh, thing I'm going to split the video into right where yeah, you know, I'm gonna split this video into. So, um something I forgot to mention, you can actually wall jump in this game. So it's just like in Mario 64, uh, just like a little bit more sensitive, and you get a little bit more time to press the A button. So yeah, let's just get up here. And dude, are you ugly? And noisy too. And you're giant too. Dude, you're a lot of things. I love this part. They just go like, did you see that crack? <laughs> this was part of the trailer they used, uh, the TV ad they used for this game. That cutscene is just so hilarious. How they both look at each other. Oh, when, whenever Petey Birena does that, you want to start pounding water into its mouth. It goes down. And you ground pound and uh, belly button. It's pretty easy. Whoa! Where do you come from? Dude. Yeah, don't be too close to him because he'll do that. So, if you fail to. If, if you don't do anything when P Piranha opens his mouth up, it's going to actually barf something. It's going to barf goop. It's actually disgusting if you think about it, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't really think about it that much. Come on, open your mouth, open your mouth. Fill with some water, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. Okay. And there we go. Actually, I went through its mouth. But then it turns into solid goop and then it goes like... Oh, it looks like barf. Weird barf, if you ask me. So, come on, come on. Get it to where I am. Okay, speed running, speed running. Oh, dude, I wanted some speed running tactics. Just grab the shine whenever it appears. So there we go. Three. And that's it, I think. Okay, yeah, there is. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. There, there, there we freaking go. Okay, so now there's something there. Uh, that is more barf. I'm just going to call it barf because it looked like barf the first time and Pity Piranha barfs it, so... Uh, let's go take care of that thing right now. Because you know, it's like pretty, 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 pretty soon in the video, you know? I mean, if I'm going to sever it into two, into two videos, it's pretty soon into the second one. Now, what's different about this black goop is that it actually regenerates itself. It actually keeps uh, keeps spawning whenever you move, so, well, not that you move, so whenever you stop spouting water at it, it just keeps coming on into you. There's three, but that's not the end of it. You still have to wait for it to come out again. So, you just want to water it down, water it, watch it down. Luigi could be very thankful if he had this blood thing when watering plants in Luigi's Mansion. Okay, and now that we've uh, now that we're now that we're done with that thing, this place is going to pop up. There's more graffiti there, signifying there's another level. But inside his place, I'm going to explain the blue coins right now. This guy is pretty mean. Suppose you're here for that. Mm, yes, very good. That means I will require ten blue coins from you. Why is this? We don't even ten coins. You again? Nothing. I can't drop my prize that low. That would be madness. You'll have to come back again. I'm afraid to see you later. So this guy actually trades in every ten blue coins you get for a single shine sprite. That is just mean to be negotiating when his whole country is in crisis, the whole place is in crisis, and he's just keeping everything for himself. <sighs> but here we have Rico Harbor for 
shine number one here. Gooper Blooper breaks out. There's an epic cutscene in this shine. Oh, excuse me, I it's warp. There's an epic cutscene in the shine, actually. So, what you wanna do is come all the way here. Just ignore the goop, you don't have to clean it up all. I mean, they said we we had to, but the only thing we have to do is get all the shine sprites back. Jump into this. Oh, it doesn't have bump, bumpy. Doesn't have bumpy. <laughs> Bumpy properties because you can. There's some things that make you bump automatically into the air. So see those crates? There's actually a tentacle coming out of one of those. So uh, let me clean this barf from here. This black barf because it's actually barf, you know. You want to stomp on that and press the B button to grab it, and then you guys just want to go up away. And oh my god, go away. I just thought that was epic the, the few first times that I played through it. Afterwards, I thought it was just a very exaggerated way of showing that off. So, whenever you sprinkle water at him, he's going to get mad and try to squash you off. I really recommend that you uh, separate some of its tentacles off of him. Oh, ow! Okay, four of them, right here, right now. Okay, right there. Grab one. I really recommend you try to do, pull them, try to pull two out of him at first. If you can do this, it's better because it'd be easier to do that. And afterwards, it's going to get him out. And after getting those two out of the out of the way, you can do this. Just come into his mouth, pull it off, and whenever his eyes turn purple, you can stop pressing B. I just want the cool version of it, and now it can actually barf! Dude, I just cleaned your face, don't go ruining, ruining it. Of course it gets more aggressive because we already hit it once. Ow, dude, I'm cleaning you, I'm doing you a favor, you're not, you're not dirty anymore, you're not covered in your own barf. Okay, the first two, uh, the front two ones go out. And then those two, and then his mouth again. Yeah, it's pretty usual, you know. And it goes off with two tentacles. That's just so cool. And the moment it touches the water, it just disappears, you know. That's weird. I think that's weird because it's, you know, kind of octopus. It's a blooper. Gooper blooper. So it should not hurt him to touch the water, even if it has his own barf in there. So, it's like oil right there. It's like an oil spill. Let's just grab the shine and go. So, this is shine number four. And that is actually... I'm going to stop the video right there. That's actually going to be everything for this episode. So, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, rate. Uh, if you're liking this two videos so far. <laughs> so, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, favorite this video if you liked it. And I will be seeing you guys the next time to continue going through Bianco Hills and Rico Harbor. See you guys then!